Okay, I'm going to show you what happens when you're in a typical rear end collision whiplash type injury. Uh, some doctors call this a low speed uh, impact rear end collision type accident where you get impacted from the back and the body accelerates very quickly and then stops. Now this is a model of the human spine and the first thing, this is the back, this is the front. The first thing you want to know is and there's certain curvatures in your spine. This is called the cervical lordosis. This is called the lumbar lordosis. And they pretty much act like springs to bear, bear the weight of your body. And they're essential to uh, having a healthy, flexible spine. So when you get in a car accident, let's say you're stopped in traffic and someone forgets or is not paying attention and you have a rear end collision, the body accelerates very quickly. And because of the construction of the neck, the neck uh, is delayed. It builds up potential energy and then when obviously the person steps on his brakes and the car stops, both cars stop, it accelerates the neck forward because of the weight of the head and it does so past the normal range of motion of your cervical spine and in the process these soft tissue structures uh, develop micro tears. But you're not done yet because there's potential energy that's stored here and then it causes your neck to whip back again, thus the term whiplash, then back and again. So in a brief second, your neck would have gone through very hyperextension, where you build up the energy there, hyperflexion, then hyperextension, then flexion again, until you come in at rest. And oftentimes what happens is that nice curvature that you saw in the beginning gets flattened out like this after a whiplash accident. And if you were to get an x-ray, there's a good chance, you know, after having a whiplash injury, that you will, your neck will present in what's called the hyperlordosis or military neck alignment.